out. Frustrated, Alex became desperate to garner the attention of Hollywood. A couple weeks later, I'm driving down the LA freeway and I'm listening to the Los Angeles Dodgers, Vince Scully, doing the play-by-play -play on a Sunday, bat Sunday afternoon baseball game. And uh, he, when the game was over, he made an announcement. He says, well, if anybody's interested, the, the big red machine of Cincinnati Reds are coming to Dodger Stadium to play Monday night baseball. And a light bulb just like lit up. I parked the car in Dodger Stadium parking lot and bought a, bought a ticket to the game. It was a nice balmy evening in, in, in Chavez Ravine, was the name of the stadium in, in LA. Brought Ashley into the stadium. I snuck him in, came in the gate that I walked in and I grabbed a seat. At the bottom of the eighth, a sudden disturbance along third base occurred as a small, sleek, black and white dog and his owner leapt over the rail onto the playing field. So I, I walked down the 26 steps that were onto the field and I, I jumped over a little three foot retaining wall and had a frisbee, you know, in my, you know, in my hand and I just, I just tossed it and Ashley flew after it and jumped, caught it, and the crowd went absolutely crazy. And when I, I, I looked around and, and, and no security came on the field to, to grab me, I continued to play. I, I marched to center field. I even said to the center fielder, I go, hey, you want to throw a frisbee to my dog? And he goes, he goes no, I'll probably get, I'll get fined if I do it. Finally, after eight minutes, I said, you know, I got to get out of here. And I ran up the same stairs that I came down, which was a mistake. And when I got up to the top of the stairs, there were like 10 security guards that grabbed me and, and like zip tied my, my hands together. And, Dodger security swiftly grabbed, cuffed, and swept Alex away to a local jail. Ashley, still wanting to play, remained on the field for some time before leaving in search of Alex. A young teenager rescued Ashley from the stadium parking lot and took him to safety in Long Beach. As Alex sat in detention, concerned for the well-being of his beloved Ashley, a guard approached, delivering Alex's first big break in California. I'm down in jail, worried, where, where's Ashley, and, you know, am I ever going to see him again? A security guard comes up to the cell that I was in and hands me a business card. He, I, I looked at it, and, it, and the business card had Los Angeles Rams, and underneath his name had halftime coordinator. And then on the back of the card said, call me. And I just like went, yes, this is, that's my moment. I wanted to be in front of the, the, the public eye. And I snuck on the field, hoping that somebody would, would, would hire me to, or see me and hire me to do more shows. In the stadium that balmy August evening was the executive director of the International Frisbee Association and longtime Whammo employee, Irv Lander. Although Irv and Alex had met previously, Alex's daring feat at Dodger Stadium caught Irv's attention. Alex, seeking release from his detention, called Irv shortly after the game. Irv, being the kind man he was, drove to the 10th Street station and sprung Alex from holding, 